All right, Thank good you. afternoon, everybody. Sorry we're a minute late. Couldn't find my phone. <laughs> Couldn't, Shut up. I'm going to say it. Shut up. Couldn't find it because it was in his back pocket. It's the wrong pocket. So I he's wandering around. I'm, I'm calling it, and he's trying, I'm like, turning around and circles it's going. It's everywhere. It's coming from every direction. <laughs> every I room going, I walked this, in, it's like, it's in here. It's in it. here. I don't really need it. I just, you know, it's a comfort thing. It's his security blanket. It's your whoopee. <laughs> so. <laughs> Happy Sunday. <laughs> we have a new set. <coughs> I do. Michael worked his butt off on this. And it's a great use for all the posters that we've got stored everywhere. We have lots of posters. Oh, my gosh. Anybody want a poster? Just send us a message. We'll send you one of everything. <laughs> Anybody want a poster of their own? Talk to Talk Jack. Talk to Jack. I but think it's, yes. <laughs> uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with a song for the uh, the late and the great. And the great. John Lewis. And this is this is for uh, the person that uh, Martin Luther King Jr. called the boy preacher. The boy from Troy. The boy from Troy. What he called him. Preacher man said, stay that narrow. Preacher man said, it's a long straight road. Preacher man said, walk on with your brothers. Mother, can I carry your load? Now when I was just a little baby Mama said, child Don't you run astray But I couldn't rest Started to wonder Couldn't believe What the preacher man said And the preacher man said Stay that narrow The preacher man said it's a long, straight road. Preach, man, said, walk on with your sisters. Sister, can I carry your load? When I was, when I was out walking on the back streets, taking me far, so far away. What the preacher man said And the preacher man said Stay that narrow Preacher man said It's a long straight road Preacher man said Walk on with each other Help to carry that load Sister, can I carry your load? All my brothers. 
brothers can I carry your love? That's for John Lewis. Good choice. It's for all of us. <coughs> I'm going to move your microphone a little bit. So, I can move it in. So Rhiannon, that might uh, change her sound just a little bit. And that is <laughs> my sound? Hope. That is my hope. What sound well, is you, the answer? You know, actually, it's going to be boom, boom, boom just a little bit here, but that, that's a, a, just <laughs> such a long ways away from you, hon. So you really need yeah. that I'm doing where my best. you are. So we were out at uh, Vermilion Valley last night. It was very hot and very humid, hence all of this. <laughs> so I'm still feeling a little bit, but it was a nice, nice crowd, nice night. Got to see some cool. friends we have not seen in a long time. Our first gig out since February 14th, which was also at Vermilion Valley. Uh, very different, though, this time. <laughs> very it different. Was. And it was outside. But it was, was outside. Fun. Yeah, that part was great. We didn't really have too many bugs or anything. till They put us on the opposite side of the we pond. Were. So we were like 400 yards from everybody. So Maybe. we were safe. <laughs> He's just joking. We weren't. We weren't. That would have been cool, though, because there were lots of frogs last night. They were, they were doing their thing. <laughs> if you dig far enough back on our Facebook feed, you'll find a picture of one of those suckers that he caught right on, at a right gig on that table, and put right it on there, this yeah. table. The size of my hand. <laughs> he was huge. He was huge. So thanks to all you guys who came out last night. Literally, you guys and Cindy's that came out. <laughs> the guys, night. guys and the Cindy's. It was real nice to see and you. The friends of guys. It was all the friends. It was nice. Great to see Joe and Christy too. This is a tune of mine. We have done in a minute. This is uh, Words Aren't Enough.
starting now To say how I feel And I'll sing for right Three quarter time Oh, make my thoughts real And there's too much to say Just a few notes are all that I wrote, but I wrote them for you. <laughs> she wrote that song. And I was scared. <laughs> so how do y'all like our new set? I love it. I think it's cool. You got your tigers up there. It's kind of fun. I got my longhorns. We got all the animals represented. All the animals. <laughs> well, and no lions. I don't have any lions. Well, that seems an oversight on your fault. Your fault. I wasn't oh, actually. You've got your guitar hanging in the corner. Yeah, I wasn't. Actually, I wasn't actually asking you. I was asking everybody else. Yeah, but I'm the one sitting here to answer. So. Well. Yeah. You got a, you got you guys got a few compliments on the new set. Yeah, what are we oh, hearing good. from whom? Um, Put them on the screen. <coughs> <laughs> uh, where was it? <laughs> Shush! I'm trying to find it. Look in your back pocket. Yeah, uh, one second. <laughs> Shush! I'm looking. <laughs> Maybe they meant the set of the song. Either way. They we meant the set take of the any song. And all yeah, they meant yeah. the set of the song, not the set of the thing. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Nobody mentioned your actual set. Sorry. Mashup. It is. Yeah. We actually knew that. <laughs> you weren't no. mentioning it. And if you 
Pink Floyd fell off the, the speaker. Oh. <laughs> home, home again. I like yeah. to be there when I can. Yeah, it proves that even though you think you know a song, <laughs> you don't always <laughs> have it out of the words. <coughs> so sorry. <coughs> you sound like <coughs> It's okay. The, the, everybody else got to see a quick snippet of, of Chuck real quick because I clicked on um, an old video. <laughs> <laughs> Instead Got a little uh, by old of, man there for Chuck. Yeah, yeah <laughs> instead of old, instead of a different camera, I clicked on uh, a video, and they saw old versions of you guys and Chuck for a second. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. but with but, back through time. But with your guys' song over. Oh, still, it was with our sound. Well, that's interesting. I think. <laughs> 
and then yeah, went, maybe maybe not then went back to you guys so i saw that on there and i thought well maybe i should maybe you, i should get that out of there just in case it accidentally you, gets you clicked know, on when you have that thought you have to go with that thought because yeah i know is telling i you know something. well yeah, you know i got butter fingers but then you know mm. i then, love those i don't mind when chuck's part of our show even if it's an accident <laughs> Except he's wearing a stupid lobster T-shirt. Well, it's like it's like a jump scare. So yeah, there we go. Or it's subliminal. Yeah, like it's right. that, that it's subliminal like, stuff. Flip, flip. Like, <laughs> yeah. Why do I feel like I want to have a Butterfinger all of a sudden? Or listen to Chuck songs. I don't know what it is. <laughs> we'll have him back on here soon. He's just been really busy, like with his day job. Yeah, his day job. <laughs> Which is actually a weekend job, but still. So. But he has day? been. He has been. Uh, we we've, we've been getting together on the back porch with him, and he's he's got some new songs that are pretty cool. We like them a lot. Yep. And we stay nice and far apart. And they so don't, don't. They don't sound anything like the old songs. Well, I mean, well, comparatively. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you want to tackle next, my dear? Well, let's let's do something really fast. Oh, okay. Hold on. I gotta switch fiddles. Good, because I don't have to sing on that one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <coughs> Actually, I don't have a good way to tune this thing to, uh, so yeah, we're just going to have to go here. with it. It's right there. Just use that. Just yeah. Push the yellow button and hold it in. Turn it it on, has been confirmed. I... They could still hear you guys while the vi- while they saw the other video. Oh, that's good. So well, we okay. Know we can do that. Thanks, that Lisa. Good Who to knew? know. Thank you. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to... We're going to do a tune that's off of our um, It's True album. We didn't write it. It was written by Davey Arthur. Uh, it's a, a beautiful Irish fiddle tune that seems like it is ancient. It's a lot like a Shokin Farewell in that sense. that It, it feels, feels like it's been there forever. So old. Like everybody's using this tune. And you think, like, it's got to be in public domain. And then literally the night before our disc was sent off to for production, I discovered that it was written by a gentleman who was very much still alive, <laughs> and we got the and, and needed the, the and, twelve dollars yeah. and fifty cents he would get from us putting it on our album. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? But <coughs> but anyway, so we got it. We got it all licensed like just in the nick of time. I discovered that you have to go to a, a special licensing company for Irish from Ireland because it's totally different. So this no, is for this you, is... Davy Arthur. It's for you, Davy. Hope you're He didn't write well. this introduction, though. We should get a co-write on a... this.
We're gonna go four times and that's it. No, I say five. No, uh, you say four. Then well, you always do five. I was cramping at three, so. <laughs> <laughs> they got pills but for that. <laughs> they got pills for everything. <laughs> so just a neat little side note: we were talking about things being older than they seem, or what have you. So this this little fella here has been around for a little while. Um, I like to tell my students, you know, I'll hand it to them and have them hold it and say, okay. You are now holding something that was built 35 years before we were a country. So this is a, a beautiful fiddle that I lucked into. Will never, never be that lucky again in my life, I'm sure. I got it for a hundred bucks. Must have been under somebody's I bed. <laughs> I didn't know what it was, and neither did the person selling it. And I didn't find out until like a year or two well, later, later what I had, and got a whole bunch of work done on her. But yeah, this is from 1741. Sweet little girl. I think it's a guy, though. I don't tend to give, like, personality traits to my instruments, but this one took us a little while to get to know each other. I don't know. It's temperamental. Did you check, did you check downstairs? What do you mean? Did, did you check it? Did yeah. you get it? Did no. Oh. <laughs> I, I did not gender it. No. No, no I, don't, I don't tend to give too many human traits. I there's a word for that when you... Anthropomorphication. Do. There we go. Anthrop and it's a big Anthrop one, too. I actually added a syllable. Anthropomorphication? Is that no, when you're like... You added two syllables. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's when you are that's completely aghast at the idea of giving something... Right. <laughs> or dead. Personality. Or dead. Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe when you, they've died. Oh, yeah. when, you, when you give... More, but no, mortification. More mortified. <laughs> it's a rare I moment. you guys he need to go back to high school. <laughs> Anthropomorphizing. Anthropomorphizing. <laughs> That is the 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 act of giving human traits to a to non inanimate object. Yes, exactly, to a non-human thing. So anthropomorph anthropomorph. Yeah, just keep saying anthropomorphification it. is a different thing. <coughs> that's that's giving human traits to something that is dead. Makes, makes you dead. aghast. Yeah, it makes you. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Oh. Lord of mercy. Oh goodness, what would you like to do next, Grady? Oh, I don't know. What do you have here? Let's see. You got a whole list here of stuff. I I don't even know any of these songs. Let's try that. Rob Towns says the chick on the fiddle ain't half bad. <laughs> Rob Towns. Hey, bro. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> 
Oh, well, like they say in our the family, thing. it takes the towns. <laughs> it takes the towns to raise <laughs> to raise one. It takes the towns to raise a village. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <clears throat> she ain't half bad. I agree with you. She Rob. does all right. You wanna you wanna do a little bit of stunt performing with that one? Anthropomorphism. Yes, that is it. Thank you, Jack East Senior or Junior. <laughs> and or Junior. <laughs> I just I just I add a syllable to it. I don't know what. Oh, that's all right. Now are you doing this in the It has nothing that... to do with frogs. That would be amph amphibious morphism. So you, are you looking to do um are you doing old habits? Mm hmm We recorded it in C. I know that. What do you want to play it in? I was practicing it in C, but... Were you? Yeah. What key is this? Um, G, I think. I don't know if I can sing it as well there. This is F. Is it? No, you're you're playing D shapes, right? E, F, G. You're the one who wanted to do this song. Yeah, but... I don't, can I sing it there? I guess we'll find out. I don't know where it starts. Hmm? You said you're so well prepared. Well, I was That's prepared right. with the recording. So that's, um, okay, that's C, yeah. No, C would be. That's where I practiced it. I bet they okay. love watching this. So that's this. an F chord, but it's a key of C. Okay, as long as it's, as long as it's where I know where the that's notes where are. That's where I always played it, so <laughs> well, that's I... Fine. So I should with this. She put it on the able... list, and I went out in the back porch and practiced <laughs> it. And I couldn't go on the back porch because it was too humid. Does everybody love watching them just just decipher what they're hey, doing? Hey, that was a band meeting. We you have about do. one a month. That's right. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Feel like part of the club now? Yeah, you're in the green room. <laughs> Stay till the end and steer me wrong And it's so hard to stop Once you start You gotta let them go Cause if you let them get old Old habits die hard. I don't want to stay out all night long Smoking, drinking, and singing this same old song. And if I'm too far down that road, would you kindly guide me home? Those old habits die hard. Old habits are strong. They want to be my best friend. Stay to the end 
you steer me wrong And it's so hard to start Once you start You gotta let them go Cause if you let them get old Old habits die hard If you let them get old, old habits die. know <laughs> it's always fun when you almost know a song <laughs> keeps you right there on the edge the whole time. yes you you definitely don't let your mind wander that's right right jack <laughs> <laughs> i got your number <laughs> oh my goodness hashtag hashtag number yeah i don't know what he's talking about either but it's okay <laughs> well, is that, isn't that a number sign isn't that isn't that what that is? Oh my gosh, the first time I had a student come into my studio and look at a sharp sign and ask me, what's the hashtag for? I was like, oh, <laughs> darn it. I knew this day would come. I know. I knew it was come, but still. <sighs> what would you like to play? I don't know, something you don't sing, maybe. <laughs> I got what I got. That's it. You got what you got. That's a lot. Are we doing mine or yours? Yes. First. Don't know. <laughs> what do you want to do first? Well, since you still haven't tuned that, it seems I appropriate it. to do mine first. Yeah, let's do yours because then I can <laughs> tune it while you you're singing. Three and a half minutes to tune the banjo. <laughs> ah! Ah! Until we do your tune. Freaking commies. <laughs> you better explain that that comment. Well, I don't have to explain nothing. <laughs> this banjo on the inside says... Um, Talk to the microphone. What does it say? I don't remember. It says made in Germany. Under USSR, USSR occupied. occupied. Right. Yeah. Mm. It's a commie it's, banjo. It is. Made with those, as I've said before, high quality East German parts. <laughs> Everybody it's, gets one banjo. It's the Trabant of banjos. <laughs> yes, after every song, we have to let it cool off for a little while before right. you can play it again. It's got a two-cycle <laughs> engine, and most of the parts are plastic. 
Hey, they were ahead of their time on that. I mean, geez. F1 cars are mostly carbon fiber and plastic, so. Carbon fiber is a little different than plastic. A little different, you're right. A little more. Go ahead and start playing your song. I'm, I'm, I'm in. All I'm, right. I'm already doing it. I'm He's playing it, it already. Right. This one's for Man Cakes. He knows who he is. <laughs> Your love's like trying to tune a banjo It's a lot of work for a little play Your love's like trying to tune a banjo No matter what I do, I ain't gonna stay For a time, everything's fine I think I got it in for the next song. <laughs> I actually wrote that song after a show at Vermilion Valley when this banjo would not stay in tune at all. I woke up the next morning and, and that song was already in my head. It wasn't her fault. Her fault? <laughs> it wasn't her fault. It wasn't her <laughs> fault. <laughs> the string that was a trouble was actually... It was breaking and we didn't know it. It was unwinding. We didn't know, but it was still. Hey, it led to a song, you know. 
<laughs> so I wrote a banjo one time driving down the highway. You wrote a banjo? I wrote a banjo song. Ah, oh, you didn't say song, okay. I was writing a banjo. <gasps> I'm surprised you got where you were going then. <laughs> well, it needed a tune up. It was missing on at least three strings. So this was uh this is when I was when I was on the road. Which means I was on the old Ohio turnpike coming home. <laughs> And I looked at the clock, and I estimated when I'd be home, and the song came to me. And so I called home and left it on the machine so I could remember it the next day, which I did, for better or worse. It's called Quarter to Ten. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna get home about a quarter to ten. Baby's gonna ask me, honey, where you been? And I'm gonna tell her that I've been on the road, but I don't wanna go no more. Gonna get home by the middle of July. Baby's gonna ask me where you been and why. And I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her that I've been on the road, but I don't wanna go no more. Take it. Take it. I was gonna say, take it. You're too late. You got a story about boomers? People suck and be so cruel Make me jump around like a silly old fool oh, I do my songs and my dance And all the good people put money in my pants We got a little couple extra beats here yeah. uh, Well, I'm gonna get home Not the day I die Baby's gonna ask me Where you been the whole life And I'm gonna tell her done that one last night. We should have. There was some bluegrass. There was a guy, a guy there in uh, Vermillion Valley who loved bluegrass. He didn't get any from us. But <laughs> he gets, well, you know, we came close. We got, you know, enough enough for him to, to hoot and holler once or twice. He, he, so. had, he had a little, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> we do our best. <laughs> anyway. So how's everybody doing out there? All good? Yeah. Chuck says hi, boogers. What? Boogers? Chuck says hi, boogers. Chuck says hi, boogers. Bo boogers, B O O G E R S. That's boogers. Oh, hi, Chuck. Thanks, Chuck. I knew he was saying to say boogers, but I read it as boogers. <laughs> boogers, boogers. It's lancha. <laughs> well, it sounds even better when you say it out loud many, many times. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks, <laughs> See you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Hope your coffee tastes okay. <laughs> Don't know why it's chunky, but okay. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> that milk's been in the back of the fridge yeah, for I don't know how long. It should be cold it enough. It should be fine, yeah. I thought it froze or something. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it looked like it was ice chunks in it or something. So, we're going to do a... You, you picked a winter song. I did. I, I told did. Kathy earlier today, I said, you're in charge of the set list, and I will go down and be in charge of the set. 
he did such a beautiful so. job. It looks really cool. So we have loads of, of extras of these, so if anybody Posters, wants if anybody a poster, wants just to have. Wall coverings or anything. Oh my gosh, just like CDs, you don't know how many a thousand of something is until you have to try and store them. Then you find out. Well, you find out how many a thousand is when Jack East makes a poster for you, and he says, how many do you want? And you say, well, a hundred would be fine, and he gives you a thousand. Is that how many you get? Chuck says he'll take it black, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> He's a smart man. <laughs> With little green floaties. Yeah, oh, God, okay. Speaking of boogers. I can't upload this to YouTube if you keep talking oh, like that. So, no, there's no copyright on boogers. <laughs> this they're from in, now on will be known as the Booger Show. They're in public domain. <laughs> so this is a song that I wrote. Um, it's a winter song. And uh, I grew up on Lake Michigan. And... Um, I haven't told this story in a while, but when I was in eighth grade, I was on the track team. I was in track team all, all the way through high school. But in eighth grade, the high school track team got all, <coughs> all new spikes. They got all new shoes. And the seventh and eighth graders got all of their old shoes. And I got a I got a, a pair that fit me pretty well, and I got a pair that was way too big, like size 12, and I was a size 10 maybe. And I put <laughs> nothing goes there. Sorry. I, I took a I took a page out of the uh, the Holland, Michigan Dutch Dancers book, and I put four pairs of socks on my shoes on my feet, and I put these size 12s on, and I walked out to the state park in these tiny little <laughs> leather shoes with spikes on them. Walked out to the state park in January, and while everybody was slipping and sliding on the ice and all of these big giant ice mounds that would form back then, and I just walked right up to the top of the, the, the mountain and I was the king of the hill. It was amazing, it was incredible, it was amazing. And, and so and, close to frostbite. And. Yes, my, my toes were <laughs> not quite black when I got home, but they were really close. Yeah, yeah. And so... Uh, was it worth it? Absolutely. I have a story. <laughs> you have a story. I have a story to tell. But um, but growing up on Lake Michigan, uh, I, I, it just doesn't freeze like it used to. The big lakes don't freeze like they used to, and this song's about that. water used to freeze up all the way from here to Chicago and we used to stand on a way and laugh about walking to Milwaukee now the big lake flows from December until April and it's never frozen very far across And I suppose as long as we are able to remember Nothing will be lost Lost a good friend to a wintry grave when the Iceland appeared, brought in by the waves in the springtime. He was carried home in the springtime. And now the big lake flows from December until April. And it's never frozen very far across And I suppose as long as we are able To remember nothing will be lost Standing 
looking at the mouth of Mecca Tower. Breakers tucked away far to the north. Gazing at the lights across the water. But I don't feel much like laughing anymore. Open water gets a lot gets a lot of hits on uh, on the internet because there was a movie with the it's same called name. Open Water. Yeah. yeah, so people people <laughs> click into that song and they they want sharks and they just don't get they it. They don't get them. Nope. So they get ice cubes. Well, a lot of it's people here that, liked it, but you know, <laughs> what's that? A lot of people here liked it. Oh, that was good. Awesome. Good. So I actually I have to apologize. I sent out a bunch of uh, invites last week to a group that I created for the live performances, and then this week. <clears throat> was full of a whole lot of extra stuff. Trying to breathe. And, yeah, yeah, and I to totally breathe. forgot to post to that group to <laughs> say, here we are. Awesome. And you can find us. So They're also glad they I, joined now. I, I, they will be next week. Okay. So. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Should we do? Oh. <sighs> What'd you do? Oh. I knocked Roger off. Oh. You, but that's not her name. Oh. Well, when she's wearing that hat and glasses, she's that's Roger Stone. Oh. oh, that's right. Should be down there anyway. <laughs> that's a, that's a good place for him. Got a little quick song you want to do? Something a little nice and nice and uh, peppy. A little upbeat upbeat thing that we you know so we don't have to end on something and, such and a downer and, like that. <laughs> Say goodbye to everybody. Uh, make them want to come back. Yeah, boy, I don't I don't have anything off the top of my head. Do you? We yeah. could try the mountain. We'll see if I can remember the words today. Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> Let's do the See, mountain. This is how I forgot them This yesterday. is a really, really Everything. slow that, dirge. That's the word This I is the slowest, dirgiest, Steve Earle song ever. It's a great song, and I love it. Slow. And I, I went to a, when we lived out in L.A., I used to go to this country jam out in Culver City, and it was huge. They're all, they're, they're leaving in droves. I know, they're, they're like, oh, God, it's that song. A slow so song. I used to go out to, a, to this jam out in Culver City, and it was huge. I mean, there were like 50 people jamming, and... I was the only fiddler, I think. It was wild. Um, but somebody. California. Yeah, California. California. Yeah, California. Yeah, and, uh, There's and... no fiddlers in California. <laughs> yeah, what seriously, are you talking about? What am I thinking? Yeah. So, this one fella, everybody goes around and they call a song, and he called the mountain, and the entire room, except me, because I didn't know the song yet, went, oh. Because it's, it's usually slow... very slow, like a slow waltz. And then one night at a Steelheaders gig, uh, Timmy. This guy, this guy right here. That, that no, guy. that one. Him, right here. <laughs> the right. one sneaking by. He started him. playing it wrong. He started playing it in the wrong time signature at the wrong speed, and we loved it. Yes. <laughs> so now we do it that way. So this is our version of a slow, of a slow tune. This is a slow that, dirge. Um, normally, we get a chance once a year to play this up on a gorgeous mountaintop in Pennsylvania. And to, this year, that was unfortunately canceled, as was everything so uh so we just get to play it as often as we can 
This is Officer Buchanan. This is The Mountain by Steve Earle. Thanks so much for listening, guys. We really appreciate it. We'll be back next week. We will. Right here. Where does it say it? I don't know. Somewhere. Sundays, 530. <laughs> I can't zoom in on that. Uh, I'm not asking you somewhere. to. It's okay. Here we go. There's one behind me, too. All right. They're everywhere. <laughs> Thanks, Jack, for our wall. Appreciate it. I was born on this mountain a long time ago. For they knocked down the timber and stripped mine the coal. When you woke in the morning, for it was like to go down in the dark hole and come back up at night. I was born on this mountain. This mountain's my home. She holds me and keeps me from worry and woe. They took everything that she gave, now they're gone. I will die on this mountain. This mountain's my home. I was young on this mountain, now I am old. And I knew every hollow, every cool swimming hole. I laid down one evening and I woke up to find that my childhood was over. Now we're down in the mine. I was born on this mountain. This mountain's my home. She holds me and keeps me from worry and woe. They took everything that she gave. Now they're gone. I will die on this mountain. This mountain's my home. tag baby we'll go over it later <laughs> no we only tag it once <laughs> thanks for joining us for thanks our rehearsal everybody, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you next week at the performance <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much we'll see you guys next week have a wonderful week stay safe stay sane yeah stay wear cool. those masks man let's all get back to it if we if we if we just Let's just get through a couple weeks of it, and then we can get back and to it. We will be done. So. Yeah, we can have baseball again. <laughs> Go you. Tigers. Go Tigers. Thank you guys so much. We will see you next week. All right. Take care.